Hey, what's up everybody? Southpaw Sharpshooter, SP Shooter, whatever. Just changed my name, probably gonna change it back at some point. Anyways, I wanna make this video because um, I think it's relevant. I did find a video which I'll link. When I first got into the concealed carry thing, I was kinda trying to figure out where I wanted to carry my gun besides just trying to find which gun to carry. Um, one of the first holsters I got was a uh, hybrid holster here. And this, this holster is by Raw Dog, and I didn't wear it very much because it is really bulky. So, back to what I was saying, um, I came across this video and I was talking about appendix carry with guys with stomachs. And I do have a stomach and I wanted to post this video before uh, I lose too much weight. I am kind of doing a little weight loss journey thing and I'm posting videos every Wednesday on that. Um, so check for those if you want to see me lose weight. I have about... 40 to 50 pounds to that I want to lose and uh, just get back into shape. Anyways, so primarily right now, unless I'm carrying my Urban Carry holster, which lately hasn't been very much, um, I'm carrying appendix. So uh, it does pose some challenges with people with some stomach fat. Um, it can be kind of uncomfortable. Um, I have quite a few holsters and the big thing that I can tell you as a tip is soft loops okay the person that actually turned me on to soft loops was uh john korea with active self-protection and the dude really likes soft loops and so i decided you have to wear a belt with them and i decided to try them out and the nice thing about soft loops is that they they bend and they move side to side so when you're when you're moving when you're standing there they can man maneuver with your body as you're sitting and bending and doing stuff, which is really helpful. So I have an example of a holster. You've seen this one in my other videos. Um, these guns are different, so it's not gonna be like apples to apples, but I tried to get it as similar as I could. Um, we the People holster, it's got an optic cut, kydex. So if I put this thing on, if I'm standing, it's okay because it doesn't really, matter but if I sit down it's it's still okay but you just don't have the the maneuverability that you have with soft loops primarily um, or lately my carry gun has been a Glock 48 um, I did have a holster that was a holster holster and it had um, it was if you put a TL, TLR 3 on it it's going to clear all these guns were clear and it had a clip also. I know I could put these soft loops on it, but it extended out right here and it was just kind of uncomfortable. But anyways, if I want to get this holster on, so do my belt. I use a Core Essentials belt, which is nice. I did cut it too short, but I'm losing weight, so it'll give me a little extra room. Anyways, here's a Glock 48. Sit down and it can just, you know, bend over, do stuff. And then another tip too, so I'm trying to lose weight. If you're overweight, the best choice, I mean, this is kind of obvious, is just to try to lose a little weight. That's gonna improve your life in many different aspects. It's gonna improve your mental health, your physical health, uh, your self-esteem, everything. You're gonna get to move around more, do more stuff with your kids or whatever. Whatever you wanna do, it's just gonna make it better. So that's probably the best thing and I put it off I've been putting on getting in shape for years and I just started doing it. So <clears throat> I want to make this video before I lost too much weight because it, uh, it just would, you know, take away from that ability to make that video. So soft loops, that's the key. Here's a Glock 26. Uh, this gun is also clear. This one has a little bit of a, a wing you know, uh, something to push up against your belt. And with those, it kind of runs into, depending on, it'll kind of run into your hip, but it does help suck that gun in a little bit. And this is an apples apples. The Glock 48 is thinner than the Glock 26, and it's thinner than the Glock 20, or the Glock 19. But that little mod wing, whatever the claw that they want to call it, does help push this butt in. Um, and another factor too, so I can sit down with this, the 26, the 26 is pretty good. I, I like the 26. Um, it is, it's a fatter gun um, than the 48, like I just said. 
but uh, it's shorter. So it's kind of like a 43 as far as length goes. Um, I like the 48 because, well, I got my S15 mags, and I like the longer uh, sight radius on that, so it's more like a 19. Wrap this video up. Hope this was helpful for you guys. Soft loops are the key. So hybrid holster, you can't, I wouldn't wear this appendix because it's just wide and bulky. So if I was going to do that, I would do it at the 8 o'clock for me or 4 o'clock if you're wrong hand, I mean right-handed. So see, it just sticks out. So at least for my body shape right now, until I lose some weight or if I'm wearing something, it just sticks out. Like I just don't feel like it's as effective. Plus, when you draw, it's just a little bit slower. But it's not a bad holster. I actually have this holster for sale on eBay. Um, so somebody's just gonna buy it. But I, I like appendix. It's quicker, it's doable. You just gotta get the right pants, the right belt, and I would recommend soft loops. So anyways, that's the video. Uh, let's see, six minutes. I might edit this down. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Check for my weight loss journey. Check back for more videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I appreciate all you guys. Stay healthy, stay safe, and uh, we'll catch you later.